before 1942, when there was the biggest action in ghetto, it was called the Gespere. I've lost my entire family then. And as far as I remember, around 50 cousins, uncles, grandparents, aunties. So I was left with my mother. Before the liquidation of the Lodge Ghetto, I was left with my mother. I was then only with my mother. And I, as I was in the underground, and I was from the people who knew, who, who were, were in the know what's happening to us, I went into hiding and I was able to hide out for four weeks. And after four weeks, my mother, she was in her early 50s, couldn't take it any longer because I prepared some hiding places beforehand in attics, in bunkers, concealed, of course. And we sometimes had to change those hiding places on the run. And my mother wasn't capable of doing it any longer. She was emaciated, physically very weak, and she came out with a proposition that I should go on hiding and she will present herself for deportation. I couldn't let my mother go on her own. I was 19 years old at the time, and I did think that maybe when we arrive and I knew where we're going, to Birkenau, to Auschwitz, I will be able to help my mother. But of course, it was to no avail. 